para esta celebración vamos a pedirle perdón a Dios por los pecados que hemos cometido sisters and brothers let us acknowledge our sins and we prepare ourselves then to celebrate these sacred mysteries
Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Oreb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. Then the Lord said to him, go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountain and crushing rocks before the Lord, but the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. The word of the Lord. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall be, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness, and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I speak the truth in Christ. I do not lie. My conscience joins with the Holy Spirit in bearing me witness that I have great sorrow and constant anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself were cursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people. My kindred, according to the flesh, they are Israelites, theirs the adoption, the glory, the covenant, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. Theirs the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
be with you. And the proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. En aquel tiempo, inmediatamente después de la multitud, multiplicación de los panes, Jesús hizo que sus discípulos subieran a la barca y se dirigieran a la otra orilla, mientras él les pedía a la gente. Después de despedirla, subió al monte a solas para orar. Llegada la noche, estaba él solo ahí. Entre tanto, la barca iba muy lejos de la costa y las olas la sacudían porque el viento era contrario a la madrugada Jesús fue hacia ellos caminando, caminando sobre el agua los discípulos al verlo andar sobre el agua se espantaron y decían es un fantasma y otros llevaban gritos de terror pero Jesús les dijo enseguida tranquilícense y no teman soy yo entonces le dijo a Pedro Señor si tú eres, si eres tú, mándate, mándame ir a ti caminando sobre el agua. Jesús le contestó, ven. Pedro bajó de la barca, comenzó a caminar sobre el agua hacia Jesús, pero al sentir la fuerza del viento, le entró miedo y comenzó a hundirse. Gritó, Señor, sálvame. Inmediatamente Jesús lo tendió la mano. Lo sostuvo y le dijo, hombre de poca fe, ¿por qué dudaste? En cuanto subieron a la barca, el viento se calmó, los que estaban en la barca se cortaron ante él, diciendo, verdaderamente tú eres el Hijo de Dios. Evangelio del Señor. Felicidades a ustedes, padres, como les decía ahorita, y los candidatos que van a recibir este sacramento. Felicidades porque por dos años más o menos, bueno y antes, pero en particular dos años han estado preparándose para este sacramento, para otra, otra, o, digamos, otra etapa de, de su fe. Y pues que ahorita ni pues, podemos estar, estar pensando, pues que... que Qué bueno me trae la confirmación, o okay. que me voy a ganar la lotería ya, o okay. que. Pero sí, creo que esto, como se va a decir ahorita, pero creo que lo voy a decir en inglés a ellos, pero o sea, o sea se, se dice en español, dice un poquito diferente la traducción, pero además es que sea como que dice sellado con el Espíritu Santo y ellos van a responder: Amén. La paz sea contigo. ¿Y por qué hago eso? ¿Por qué le digo que sean sellados? Es que en español no, no la traducción no, la traducen diferente. Entonces, ¿Pero por qué lo sellamos con el Espíritu Santo? Porque esto termina, como quien dice, la iniciación. La iniciación empezó con el bautismo. Ustedes lo bautizaron, después hicieron la primera comunión y ahora la confirmación. En otros tiempos lo hacían todos juntos, pero ahora lo hacemos así separados. Y bueno... Ahorita entonces cuando les diga que, que sean sellados o reciben este don del Espíritu Santo, o sea, estamos diciendo de que se cumpla ya lo que empezó de que se bautizaron o más bien de que nacieron, que termine, sea hoy, sea el Espíritu, ¿por qué? Porque ya son templos del Espíritu Santo. Y, uh, y para decirles, estoy muy contento de estar con ustedes, sea, me, porque me emociono, ¿por qué? Porque estos hijos suyos son muy buena gente. Me ha tocado en diferentes oportunidades hablar con ellos, en diferentes momentos, no necesariamente más en la iglesia, pero afuera de aquí o en otras partes. Y todo eso me toca a mí, que ellos ya, por, pues ya claro, están jovencitos, todavía bien jóvenes, y todavía mucho, mucha necesidad de, de ustedes padres para que los consejen y los guíen, pero, 
pero ya también ya aprendieron, ya ven, ya van tomando pasos así fuertes de hacer decisiones de que a favor, como quien dice, de la fe, de amar, de perdonar, de buscar, o sea, caminar lo mejor que pueden en la fe. Y entonces, ahorita atrás, cuando les diga eso del Espíritu Santo, pues ya lo recibieron, que ya lo tienen, son templos, o sea, el Espíritu Santo, nuestro cuerpo es templo del Espíritu, y, y ellos y ustedes ya reciben este Espíritu, ya lo tienen, y bueno, y que sigan ellos este Espíritu desarrollándose, y que lo puedan escuchar. Y luego al final, la paz con ustedes, ¿por qué ponemos la paz ahí? No lo voy a poder dar la paz, la mano, pues bueno, ahí está todavía no, pero, pero se dice la paz sea contigo y con tu espíritu, me lo van a responder. ¿Y por qué la paz? Porque lo doy la bienvenida. Pues como lo hacemos, ustedes lo entienden muy bien, en su casa, ¿verdad? en su, su hogar, ya le dan la bienvenida a alguien, pásele, pásele, luego es que le saluda a uno, con un abrazo a eso, o con la mano, o, pues ya le doy la bienvenida. Porque ellos ya pueden hacer padrinos, ya pueden o sea, ser padrinos con padres de alguien. Y, uh, ellos ya pueden hacer padrinos. Esa, ellos ya pueden, como quien dice, ahora compartir la fe con los que, pues, para que sea una criatura, una, un niño o niño, como el, niña o niño, como lo hacemos en nuestra fe. Pero, uh, pero bueno, ojalá y puedan ayudar a esos niños a crecer en la fe. Con el ejemplo principalmente y también con sus palabras. Entonces, le, le decimos, la paz sea contigo, entre, seas parte, ahora sí ya tome parte completamente, ya se acabó la iniciación, como quien dice, ahora es vivir la fe, porque no se confirma nomás para confirmarse, como muchos a veces decimos, pues me confirmo para que casarme por la iglesia después, pues está tan muy, muy joven para que case, pero, pero todavía después vendrá eso, pero um, bueno, y, y pero la, la, la intención es más bien que, que sirvan al pueblo ya en toda la capacidad que, que existe como bautizados hijos de Dios. So I'm going to go now to English because I'm running out of Spanish already. So, uh, uh, so I wanted to say there's three things and maybe probably a million things. I'm sure your parents could tell you a hundred things that they would want you to do and maybe to reflect on those three things that, uh, that you might want to take from this day. Well, first of all, Um, you know, when people, we change when we, when we uh, you know, when we comb ourselves or take a shower and all that stuff, you look, you look very good. You look very good with your ties, with your dress, and, you know, man, we change. And that's the outward appearance. The, the, uh, the prayers for, for you today will be that you're, you know, in your heart, you're always changing. Yet you're always aspiring to do uh, good to not do stuff that I'm going to ask in a moment, and you're going to respond, I do, right? Say, so, do you believe in God? And God was good. God has given you life. And, and, you know, say, I do believe in God. Do you believe in Jesus then? Do you believe what he taught about loving each other, loving God above all things and our neighbors, ourselves? And all the other, all that you learned throughout confirmation and that you will continue to learn, will you believe or do you believe in it? I do. And then the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, as you're seeing, Lincoln and I, we wear red. They put some red, red around here. It's the ever quenching fire, but it doesn't burn. And as I've shared with you, this is the fifth state that where this comes from, the red or the confirmation, Pentecost. Remember what happens on Pentecost? It's a big word, right? So Pente, of course, 50 days after Easter, What happens after Easter? Jesus resurrects and all that, and, and now he's gone by the time Pentecost comes. He's already ascended into heaven. He's gone in a sense they don't see him the way they saw him after the resurrection or during his life. So what happens? The Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles or the followers of Christ. And, and, and what happens then? Well, they go out. Their life has been changed. This is the The unquenchable fire in a sense, uh, unquenchable in the sense that it just burns and burns, but it doesn't burn you to hurt you. It burns to transform. Like sometimes we do with, you know, when, when we see the water, I guess that's the best example, water turning into vapor, right? When we are boiling water and it turns into vapor, and sometimes we have to breathe that vapor, you know, when, especially if we we're sick of, a, you know, like a cough or something. But anyway, you know, this, It's not about hurting. The fire is not about hurting you. It's about changing us. 
and the spirit is ever changing. So the first thing is you've changed. You changed because you're all dressed up and everything, and you look good, you look good, and so that's the first thing. The second thing, hopefully you notice, and these are just three things. It could be like a million, I guess. People love you, and what are you going to do about it? You know. Well, we'll start with the catechist, right? Your catechist or all the other catechists that you had throughout the catechism. They just give up their time. So that's one person. I'm sure your parents and all, all the other family and friends that you had. But they love you. Now, what are you going to do with that? If, it, if people, what, what do you just say? When, well, if it's, if it's my girlfriend, if she's already 90 and I'm very 30, and I'm not really, I'm 50, <laughs> but if she's 90, pues, what do I do? Pues, yeah, I respond, maybe, she, even if she's 90, but I'm not, not really. But um, what do you usually say when people uh, love you for wrong? I mean, you might feel the same, you might not. But usually there's a response. And, and, and like, when I was growing up, your age, of course, when girlfriends and all that. But then, yeah, yeah, I love you too, you say. Or you show it. You, and then, uh, I guess at a certain time, maybe you would write notes to each other. Now you text, but... Uh, or maybe held hands or go to a movie together or something. Um, nothing wrong with that in a sense. Maybe not right now, but, uh, but in those times. And we respond to what God has given us. Hopefully you realize that you are loved. And God has blessed you through this love. Someone gave time. Uh, well, whatever you want to call it. Time, energy, their whole person to have you kind of be lifted and moved along in life. So you are loved, now what are you gonna do with that love? What are you gonna do about that? Okay, and then the last one then, it kind of goes with that then, where are you headed? That's the question, the last point is, where are you pointing towards? Some of you are already looking at, you, you, you know, sometimes even, again, trying to use my example, but you have your own, but I'm just trying to understand too. You're going somewhere. You're, you're, you're right now probably in school and you're studying and where is that all going? Well, to learn. And where does that take you? Well, and then let's say, for example, you right now they're in need of nurses. So let's say one of you decides and you feel that calling to be a nurse or a doctor or one of those medical professionals or something like that. And you feel that calling, and what, 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 what is that for? Or what, why? Well, you could save someone's life. You could do it, I mean, yeah, because you know how, what to do, like if a child's, uh, I don't know, sick, or, or if uh, they ate something and it's stuck in their throat, you know, Heimlich maneuver, or, or if they need to give them CPR or something. You know how to do that, so that's the third thing. You're being sent. You're being sent and you're walking and hopefully, you know that hopefully the, the Spirit of God will guide you. So with that said, uh, I mean, and there are some more, a lot of things as I get older, I have more things to share with you, but uh, for right now, that'll be it. Where are you, where is your life heading right now? Because Jesus, you know, after the disciples, like I mentioned about Pentecost, when the Spirit came upon them, what happened to them? They split. You know, they left. They started going in different directions to what? Talk about God. Share the faith. And, and more by their example. More by their example. So right now we're here and, and I feel, again, I uh, feel that little ting because we can't all be here like all the other and do it on a Sunday or something or when all the other, the rest of the community is here. But, but we do what we can. So, and today I, I and, their name, the community's name. I thank you, and because you, many of you have served in different ways in our kermesses or um, in different other in other things and in other events. And I hope wherever you're pointed, always towards God. Whatever you do in life, whatever you do, and that you feel God has called you. So you are love for sure. Know that. And now, hopefully, you do something uh, with that too with that gift that God has given you. So I'm gonna invite you, candidates first, to stand. And, I'm, and we're gonna respond almost to me.
responder, pero los demás se quedan sentados, malos candidatos, just the candidates. I'm going to first ask you to, to profess your faith that you have. So, I gave you the answer already. Okay. So, do you reject sin so as to live? You know, all of us can respond. So, do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I, I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I so my dear candidates, you're called a candidate because you've been called now to, and you're not going to be candidates after, you, after we confirm you. Now you're a full-blown, we could say, baptized uh, Catholic, right? So my dear candidates for confirmation, by your baptism you have been born again in Christ. You have become members of Christ and of his priestly people. Now you are to share the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us. The Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successors to the baptized. The promised strength of the Holy Spirit which you are to receive will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses, to be examples to his suffering, death, and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and build up the body of Christ in faith and love. So my dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out his Holy Spirit upon these candidates for confirmation to strengthen them by his gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. And now the Los Padrinos, the, God, the sponsors, if you can stand next to him. And yes, if you could, if it's okay to put the, your hand up on his shoulder, on their shoulders. And candidates, um, if you could bow your heads. Tú puedes poner la, la, si se quiere, la mano no, sobre el hombro del, del candidato. So, So our faith doesn't just fall from the sky. You teach them, your parents and now godparents sponsors you. So candidates, I want you to bow your heads. Bow your heads and we'll extend some of our hands towards you. O powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and gave them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of right judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Madeline 
be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Jared, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with the Spirit. Jaden, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Anthony, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Will be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. My sisters and brothers, let us stand together on the of the year. Pedimos por estos candidatos, por estos hijos de la comunidad e hijas. Vamos a pedir a Dios por ellos y por ustedes, por la familia de ustedes, por sus amistades. We pray for these candidates, and also for, uh, we pray also for you, the parents, and all the family and all the friends. For these sons and daughters of God, conferred by the gift of the Spirit, that they can witness to Christ by life built on faith and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. For their parents and godparents who led them in faith, that by word and example, they may always encourage them to follow the way of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. For the Holy Church of God, in union with Francis our Pope, Mark Sykes our Bishop, and all the bishops, that God who gathers us together by the Holy Spirit may help us grow in unity of faith and love until his Son returns in glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. For all men of every race and nation, that they may acknowledge the one God as Father, and in the bond of common brotherhood, seek his kingdom, which is peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For vocations to the sacred priesthood and to the consecrated life, that the young people Christ is calling will hear his voice and will be given the grace to respond with courage and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, you share your love with all your creatures. Continue the work of redemption. All that you do for us, continue in us and continue in these young men and women. Hear our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
will be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receiving your mercy, O Lord, the prayers of your servants, and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your Son, that they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption, by which he came for us, your Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and every prayer to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the, the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, into his death, on the night of the Last Supper, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and giving and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Martin our Bishop, and all your clergy. Remember also Lord your servants whom you have been pleased to confirm today by bestowing the Holy Spirit and keep them in your grace. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and filled with the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, by your mercy and love, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. And I share this peace with one another that comes by the Holy Spirit. So we do it from a distance, right? Peace be with you. Peace.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Accompany with your blessing from this day forward, O Lord, those you have, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all the trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity, their love, foster their growth, foster her growth in the world through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Yes. So bow our heads with prayer for you. God bless you. May God the Father Almighty bless you, whom He has made His adopted sons and daughters, reborn from water and the Holy Spirit. May He keep you worthy of His love. Amen. Amen. May His only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of Truth would abide in His church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the of the faith. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit who kindles the fire of charity of love in the hearts of his disciples bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one in the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you all, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We may go in peace. Thanks be to God. So before we, uh, I guess I have to uh, first of all congratulate you uh, again. So we do it with an applause of these uh, young men. <laughs> and also the catechists, uh, of course, uh, we're, we're, we have Martha, you, um, uh, Claudia, and of course Julie, and then um, so gracias. Thank you, Caritas Son. And I wanted to thank the choir because we always ask them to be here and all that. And of course, they always have upbeat music, so I wanted to thank them. For that. Thank you. Thank you. And again, uh, my prayers are with you, uh, candidates, or you're no longer candidates, but son and daughter of God confirmed, right? So. My prayers are always, will be always with you. And always looking to see how to help you and hopefully you, you can also instruct me and in how to be a better priest. But again, thank you and God bless you.